All right, so I've got a new filter here. Um, I just installed it. It's the Penguin or Marine Land. Here. Marine Land Penguin 200 Power Filter Bio Wheel. The Bio Wheel doesn't work with the way I've set it up, but that's okay because I kind of messed with the original setup anyway. Um, I put in their starter filter, as you can see, but I also took some of this activated carbon filter mat. Like I said, this is my bedroom. Sorry for the mess, but hey, that's my life. Um, <laughs> yeah, cut it out. Made my own secondary filter port because it can fit two. And I added some baffling. The power on it is still a bit much for what I'd like for this tank. Just because, well, I'm going to be running A2. I have got a bubbler on it. It, it doesn't need that much flow, that much uh, power to it. And that much flow is going to be bad for most of my community fish in here. They don't like that much flow. So I'm going to be working on a way to baffle that. I'm going to be looking at some other people's videos. Seeing what I like, seeing what I don't like. And going from there. Um, my first thought was honestly to put a filter there but I don't think it would work that well, so I don't want to go that route just in case and waste the filter. I've got to put a new filter on this one and put a new actual carbon filter in the back just so that A, not blocked as much as it is right now, and B, so that I can figure out whether it is the filter that's messed up or if it's the actual motor that you know if it's clogging up or if it's the motor that's messed up because that one's been giving me some issue on my uh, water changes but yeah everybody's still doing good like i said they're a little spastic right now i also started adding beef heart and spirulina and mysis shrimp at night instead of the blood worms that i had been doing um i was doing the blood worms mostly so that i could get the Corridoras here to spawn. I was doing cold water changes, etc. But I don't really need them to spawn right now. I'm, I'm trying to keep it, you know, get the tank to keep it going for now. I've got to still fix that edge over there. Um, I've got to get a 10 gallon for the blind cave tetra still. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I've still got to do. I'm just, I've got to get around to doing it. Um, I also, like I said, I've got to figure out how to slow down that because I don't like the way that it's pushing everyone around. Um, I normally wouldn't care because they can swim through it and my bed has never really cared about a heavy flow before. As you can see, he swims through it just fine. I'll swim behind it. He'll swim into it and swim into it, into it. Like he's trying to go upstream because he's weird like that, but whatever. Do what you gotta do, buddy. Like I said, he's hanging out by it. He could go over there. He could come over here. He could go around over there. But no. He's legitimately hanging out mostly by it. I don't know whether he's just expecting me to feed him again right now or not. But. Because. That's what happens when I put my finger up in the other tank. He doesn't really like me, to be honest. See. He runs from me. He doesn't try to fight me. He just runs. He's a weird one. I've added hides. I've done everything I can. He doesn't like it. He doesn't care. He doesn't like me. Which is fine. He doesn't have to like me. It's his life. I'm just trying to make it a long one and not living in a cup. But, hey. Um. Uh, go over and check out the, uh. Fry real quick. I'm going to shut this off as I walk over there so you're not seeing all of my room. Alright, so we're here with the fry. Um, not really going to be able to see them that well because my main light's on and, well, yeah, that's just life, I guess, as it might happen to be here. Um, I did add beef heart to this one as well. Still sitting there. I don't know whether they'll eat it at this stage or not. I don't know whether they're too young for it or whether they're just not interested in it. Um, doesn't look like anybody's taken anything off of it yet. Um, I'm gonna give it a little bit longer and take it out and toss in the other one. Maybe toss one of the uh, spirulinas in here and hope they go after that. Um, 
I would like to try and feed them more than just the once a day on the baby brine shrimp right now because they're starting to grow bigger and I'd like them to be able to, I don't know, get larger easier, I guess would be the best way to say it. So that I can see where I need to put in extra work, you know. I haven't been able to see them that well right now, unfortunately, just because... Oh, I don't have a very good camera right now, but, yeah. Again, I'd like them to grow bigger, quicker, so, again, I will be working on that. Um, as far as tubes, I picked him up a new light, but his tank's down here for right now. It's being hidden by a heater, um, which is on this, aimed at this, I should say. Trying to keep it warm, but not overheated. I don't know. We'll see. They were hatching out just fine without it, but I was just worried about the fry not surviving in it well. Because obviously, well, I tossed them in here. And earlier I was trying to catch some B-roll of the fry, which I'll probably slip in here right after this to show you all. Oh. Well, I might cut that out, I might not. Sorry, my hand kind of wobbled there from my lack of sugar. I'm still trying to catch up. Um, yeah, health issues, it's great. <laughs> um, but anyway, <clears throat> so I was trying to catch some B-roll and I saw one of the Palladius, I probably butchered that name altogether, Corydoras or peppered corridoras catfish spry in there like i said i'll put the video in afterwards so you can see it um it just shoots across the screen really quickly at about 15 seconds i'll try to just cut that clip out just for the sake of timing and to you know make it easy for people to see what i mean who knows i might boomerang it i don't know yet you'll figure out in just a second Alright, so if you'll watch from the right to the left, you'll see it here, it'll go across.